Hi, I'm John and in this video I will be doing a range test on the Philips Hue Outdoor Motion Sensor. So let's jump in. This is the Philips Hue Outdoor Motion Sensor. In the box it says it has a 12 meter range and the horizontal angle is 160 degrees and the vertical angle is 80 degrees. So I'm testing the Philips Hue outdoor motion sensor. It's over there on the fence about 1.5 meters from the ground and on the Philips, no sorry, on the SmartThings app it says no motion and I'm at the 6 meters mark. I have under settings uh, set the motion sensitivity to high. So now I'll, I'll approach the fence about five meters away, about four meters away, and somewhere around here it should start detecting motion. So now, now the three meters mark is over there. And now I have motion, so I would say I'm about four meters away when it detects motion. So the Philips Hue motion sensor is over there on the fence. I'm testing the how wide the angle is. So it says on the box it's 160 degrees. So I'll try to approach the motion sensor here from the side and let's see at what point Okay, now I'm maybe two meters away and it detected the motion even though I approached it from the side. It's the second test of the Philips Hue outdoor motion sensor. It's now on the edge of the roof at a bit over three meters of height. So I'm starting off at the 12 meter point and I have no motion so I'll approach the sensor and let's see at what point it detects the motion. Now I'm at 9 meters so I still have no motion. I'm approaching 6 meters and now it picked up motion. I'm a bit more than 6 meters away so I would say it's maybe 6.5 meters in, in my case. Okay, I'm testing the Philips Hue motion sensor from the side. Now it's up over there and I have no motion. So now we picked up motion and I would say I may be five or six meters away. I'm going to buy the Philips Hue outdoor motion sensor for automating your lights uh, and you perhaps are going to use the Samsung SmartThings app. You have to check out my other video for automating outdoor lights without changing existing bulbs. I will leave a link in the description and up there for that. If you found this video helpful I would really appreciate it if you can leave uh, a comment or give a thumbs up it really helps out the channel and also consider subscribing I have a lot of uh, home automation videos uh, coming up so that's something to look forward to thank you and see you in the next one